Hey, welcome back to my channel. My name is Lou, and well, today, as you can tell in the title, most likely if I put it right. <laughs> Anyways, um, so today I want to show you guys how to make a mandala, a mandala in Adobe Photoshop. Photoshop. Illustrator. Illustrator. I can't talk today, but anyways, so you would think it might be complicated but it's actually not as complicated as it seems so first let's go to create new document and then choose whichever size you want um doesn't really matter so let's kind of choose a size eight by five so oh, inches right here i'll choose the eight by five eight and a half by eleven or like a coloring book type of thing for let's say Amazon, right? Um, and then you get a blank document. So we we'll want to do two layers. So click here to create a new layer. The first layer, we're going to want to select the line segment tool and just press shift, click, and then drag it, making sure that it's bigger than the page itself or the document itself and then align horizontal and align sorry align vertical and align center align horizontal center and align vertical center and then control c control v or if you're on a mac i believe it's command um or again you can use this copy paste and then right click, go to transform, rotate 90 degrees. And there we go. We got the first start. I'm just going to select them both choosing the selection tool. Uh, select them both. Control G to group them. As you can tell here, they're grouped. And then you want to go to select, sorry, not select, uh, object. Effect, sorry. Effect, distort and transform and transform. And then here, the only thing you want to do is, um, let's say you want to do uh, six copies or six corners, let's say, right? So one, two, three, four, five, six, or something like that. So you do six copies. And then here you put 360, so like 360 degrees, divided by six copies. And make sure preview is on, and then you'll see this. So here I'm going to zoom in a little bit. And again, it's always good to, to learn the shortcuts, like keyboard shortcuts. Space to get the hand, go, control, to, and, and scroll to kind of move left and right. And then control alt to zoom in or zoom out. Anyways, um, so once you have that, what I like to do is I like to make the lines a little thinner. So it's kind of, you, you barely see it. So then click here to lock that layer. Click on layer two. And we're going to do the same thing. Instead of like making the whole thing again, we're just going to copy these two. And then paste here. But as you can tell, when you paste, you kind of have the same problem where it's it's already grouped, but you're also getting the effect. So here you want to go to appearance. If you don't have appearance, go to window and then appearance or shift F6. And then appearance, click on this little effect here and then delete. There you go. Or you can repeat the steps to doing it the first time, just minus the effect. Anyways, so I'm going to block this. And here, let's just do this. All right. And then make sure you click here to select them all. Or you can also do Control A or Command A. Make sure the layer is selected. Go to Effect. Distort and transform, transform, and then let's do the same thing again. Six copies, 
360 divided by six. And there you go. And then you also want to do it one more time. Distort, transform, transform. It's going to tell you, do you want to apply another effect? Go ahead and apply it. Reflect. And then one copy. And as you see, voila. Now you're probably wondering, but what about these things? It may look nice on certain effects, but the problem is you start getting, yeah, it starts getting a little not so great. So here, I'm going to go ahead and lock everything. Hold on. I'm just going to lock this group. I'm going to lock this. And then I'm going to use the pen tool. Click here at the very top, the center. And then let's choose here. As you can tell it's kind of off a little bit. So I'll try and make it as center as possible. And then attach it. And as you can tell, there's already an effect, right? The, the effect is still being applied. So click here, the direction select tool. I don't know why it was selected group. And then if you need to move it, go ahead and move it. So now unlock these, select the layer tool again, or layer tool, layer. And go to make release clipping mask. And voila. There you go. Now you have, you can use the template and. Huh. May or may not work. You may have a space. Let's try it again. Yeah, as you can tell, it kind of fades or there's a little space there. So let's move this there see if that fixes it maybe possibly um let's hide this let's hide this don't clipping mask and there you go well actually once you have the clipping mask you can move the previous thing that uh path that you made and yeah that's that's pretty much it there you go. You may have this little line. Sometimes you have to work with the clipping mask. So here again, you can make sure you have the direction selection tool selected. Click on the point. And as you can tell, it starts to change the effect. And what I like to do is I like to use the I like to use the like the copies because sometimes you can't really tell. As I said before, I'm a perfectionist, a little bit of a perfectionist. So anyways, there you go. So let's lock this and you can still use the horizontal lines as like a reference point, but it can get to a point where you can just, yeah. You can just start, um, let's see here. Sometimes they get in the way. And yeah, that's pretty much it. So now I'm just going to select these. And as you can tell, it, to start off, you may want the, uh, you may want the, what do we call it? You may want the lines. And once you get a little bit more advanced, for example, there, there, and just start working how you want your mandala to look. So it saves you a lot of time. Saves you a lot of time in, in making your design. Again, you can always go in and use the either the um, direction selection tool or pressing A on the keyboard or the V, which will give you the selection tool and change the type of uh, 
line that you want. So for example here, I'm just going to change this. And I'm going to make it thicker. And there you go. So yeah, that's just a quick way to, to start making mandalas. And uh, yeah, this is, eh, it's a decent version. But anyways, you always want to save your document. Uh, for this one, I'm probably going to redo everything. So you know what? Save it. I'm um, just going to leave it untitled. And there you go. So that's pretty much my quick, uh, quick, 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 quick tutorial, I guess, on how to do a mandala in, or at least start a mandala in uh, Illustrator. The rest is completely up to you, like how you want to, what kind of design, what kind of brushes you want to do. And if you guys want to see a, a video on how I make um, the brushes, go ahead and let me know. And yeah. I'll, I'll make some interesting brushes, I want to say, that you can use. Uh, so anyways, I hope you guys liked it. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and all those fun things. And I'll catch you guys next time in the video. Or in the next video. And the one after. The one, anyways, yeah, you know what I mean. Cheers.